Interesting parable that the Lord gives today. He says, here this parable of the sower, the one who sows the seed. Now at this time, the Lord is basically giving the four categories of how his message is being received by the people. He says, first of all, there's that seed. The message is, is on this, this footpath. It's not penetrating. In a way, he's talking about the Pharisees. They're hearing him preach, and the Pharisees are saying, he's of the devil. They're not even listening to the word. They just totally close themselves off. So like the ones that the Lord's planting, throwing the seed, but it's not penetrating. And if some who are receiving the word, they understand the Lord's teaching, they're being receptive to at first, but they might be afraid of what the Jewish authorities would be thinking if they followed the Lord. They're keeping a distance. They like what they're hearing, but they're not committing themselves. They're like the ones that the seed's fallen on rocky ground. Then there's others that they're being receptive to the seed, the, the Lord's message of the kingdom. But then they get along with their lives, and the Lord's asking for them to kind of make a commitment to leave things behind, to be committed, to walk in the way of holiness. Well, the things of the world kind of was more attractive. But then for the apostles of the disciples, they're hearing the word, they're hearing the teaching of the Lord, his message, they're understanding it. They're saying, yes, we're going to follow this Messiah, this teacher. They're saying yes to the message of the Lord. So in a way, that's the four categories that the Lord is giving that is still receiving his message. We can take those categories for ourselves today. And I can say, where do I fit into the category? Again, we have the first, that we have the teachings of the Lord. We all know the teachings. People have heard, love God. Let God be your first and primary relationship. Avoid the false idols. Don't worship false idols of money, pleasure, success, power. Keep faithful in your relationship with God, that he's the one that's going to satisfy you in the thirst. The Lord says, you could be my follower. It means you have to die to yourself, serve the needs of others, forgive your enemy care for those in need, speak the truth at times, help those in need, even suffer persecution if you're going to be faithful to my word. So the Lord gives all these, he gives the teaching. So we all know the teachings, we've heard it. But the category that some people, they hear the teaching today, it goes in one ear and out the other. No penetration. They just don't even, it's not important for me. They just totally ignore the word of God. They hear it, but it makes no penetration. Others, that they hear the word of God, they understand the teaching. You know, I like what I'm hearing. You know, the fact is, I, I like what I'm listening to. It's like people that go to church, they hear the gospel, they hear the teaching. They say, boy, that was, that's a great teaching. I, I like what I'm hearing. I really, I should kind of maybe look at that. Then when they leave the church and go home, they, they basically forget the teaching. And for those that say, well, if I do, say yes to the teaching is going to mean a change of my life. I'm not too sure I'm ready to go that way. Those are also on rocky ground. You have those that, you know, I like the teaching. You know, it makes sense to me. I want to be a disciple of the Lord. I want to live his way of life, and he start trying to practice it. But, you know, the TV commercials, the things of life, their own temptations, you know, sometimes it chokes the word, and I'm not faithful, I kind of give up. I gave it a good try, but the things of the world came upon me and I fell for the things that the world was offering. Those have fallen among the thorns. But there's those that hear the word of God. I, wanna, I understand the word of God. I want to put this word to practice. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to try to do the best I can to be faithful and live in the word. Now that's the fourth category. So today we can kind of say, as I look at the scripture reading, like where do I find myself? In what category do I find myself? And basically, if we're being honest, I might find all four of them in my life. I can witness all four of these. Sometimes I you know, read the word and in one ear out the other, it doesn't even penetrate. I'm kind of distracted about something. I kind of understand it doesn't penetrate. And sometimes I may say, you know, I like what I hear, but I'm not ready to attend to it. Or I'm trying, but I succumb to the things of this world. So there's part of us that, you know, maybe I'm all of them. And sometimes I find I'm being faithful. In areas of my life, I find myself faithful to the ways of the Lord. So what we want to do is try to produce that good soil, 
have that good soil in my life, then I'm receptive and open to the word of God. So again, what that means is I cultivate my soil. First of all, I say the word of God's important for me. I want to be exposed to his word. So the sower is sowing the seed, he's throwing out the seed. Well, I want to catch that seed. That seed comes upon me, the word of God. So that's some time I spend in the scriptures. I say, what's the word of God? What's his seed? Then what is he saying to me? Now, okay, I understand what he's saying. I understand his teaching. All right, I want to put this into practice in my life. So Lord, it's not going to be easy. This is something I know I need to attend to. I know it's not going to be easy to say, like, loving my enemy, forgiving those who hurt me. I know that's your word. I'm going to try to, imp to implement this. It's not going to be easy. So, Lord, send your spirit upon me that I may live this word and bring forth fruits. That I may be fruitful and walking in the ways of Jesus. So it's a good parable for us to just confront and be challenged by today that the Lord is sowing seed every day. Every day he's sowing the seed. It's very generous, God. Kind of interesting, they sold the seed and like three-fourths of the seed that was sown wasn't going to be productive. Only one-fourth was going to be productive. The Lord is sowing every day. He's sowing his word. May we truly be those that receive the word, allow the word to take part of our lives, come into my life, act upon that word, and be faithful in his ways. God bless you.